When you set up a fixed asset system, you've got to determine initially how are you going to identify the assets, not only at acquisition, but in subsequent uh, audits or inventories. There are basically three ways that this can be done. One is to keep your fingers crossed that two years from now or five years from now or ten years from now, you're able to identify an asset from the description that is in the fixed asset record. The second system is to assign an asset number and put this in terms of a barcode label on the asset. There are barcode readers which will allow you to scan the barcode and convert the information on the barcode to something that the computer can match up. The third uh, system is uh, called RFID, what radio frequency identification, and this is a little chip that is uh, assembled on the asset itself and it can be scanned through electronic uh, zappers, I guess is the word, <laughs> not the technical word, but uh, you can go through your uh, office or factory very, very quickly if you have RFID tags. The problem is that at the present time, RFID is a little bit more expensive than the barcode and there are some techno technical and technological problems that make the uh, RFID maybe not ideal, but in terms of speed of inventory, uh, the RFID is definitely the, the fastest. The barcode is what most companies should use. Uh, you can buy barcode labels pre-numbered and that gives you internal control and the information on the label can be hooked up in the software system, the fixed asset system, so that the two match and if the barcode is attached securely to the asset, it'll be there permanently and you can always identify the asset with the corresponding entry in the fixed asset system.